welcome back friends we are talking about the eukaryotic dna replication and we have seen the basics of eukaryotic dna replication we have seen the enzymes that are involved in the eukaryotic dna replication as well as the difference between the eukaryotic and prokaryotic dna replication in the first video of this series this is the second video where we will be talking about the initiation of this process the initiation of eukaryotic DNA replication. Now remember the initiation is most vital in all the different processes in body the fundamental process the DNA replication, DNA transcription and translation. Initiation phase is always important because initiation phase becomes rate determining. Initiation phase is the phase which is finally telling the cell whether the cell will commit uh, to that process or not. So that is why initiation phase is very 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 important. So, if we see here in initiation phase of DNA replication, it starts with the specific region of the eukaryotic DNA which serves as the origin of replication or ORI. Okay. So, let us look at the structure here. So, let us say this is the DNA and this is a particular section we call it ORI or origin of replication. Okay. There will be multiple ORI present in the eukaryotic DNA, but we will be seeing one example for our understanding. This is the ORI and there are multiple ORIs are there. The idea of initiation works in two different stages, okay. actually three different stage, but mainly two different stages. First stage is to prepare this DNA for the active complex to bind because the DNA without any proteins attached is not a proper site for binding the actual proteins that are required the actual trans replication initiator or replication activator proteins. The example of such, rep such replication activator proteins are CDC6, cyclin dependent sorry. So, the major DNA replication activator proteins in eukaryotes are CDC6, CDT1, MCM. These are the names MCM. So, full form of all this I am telling you, but that is not very important to memorize. But the thing is, cell division cycle protein 6. Okay. This is the called the chromatin licensing and DNA replication factor 1, chromatin licensing and DNA replication factor 1. On the uh, uh, MCM is mini chromosome, mini chromosome maintenance factor, okay. that means mini chromosome means small stretch of chromosome. This MCM proteins as we will see in future that this MCM proteins will take care of small sections of chromosome region, small section of DNA at a time. By doing so, it can take over the whole chromosome synthesis. So, it is called mini chromosome maintenance factor. These are the three actual activator, DNA replication activator proteins, but they are only attracted towards the DNA or ODI where it is recognized first by origin recognition complex, ORC, by origin recognition complex. The idea here is that none of them CDC6, CDT1 and MCM can actually bind to the ORI because they cannot detect the origin of replication on their own. Once the origin of replication is detected by the origin recognition complex or better known as ORC, once it is detected by ORC, then all of these proteins can actually bind. So, at the very beginning, this ORC, ORC recognizes the origin and binds with it. And ORC, remember origin recognition complex, this is also a complex of proteins, this is not a single protein. So, this complex is made up with multiple ORI, uh, ORC proteins. For example, in Saccharomyces cerevisiae, there are five different ORC proteins out there, six different ORC proteins called as ORC1, ORC2 and so on, multiple. This ORC proteins have two functions. 
some of them with the help of DNA binding domain binds with DNA binds with the ORI section of the DNA and some of them are bound with ATP and they can hydrolyze ATP. ATP hydrolysis is required in some cases to drive energy. Okay. So, ORC now bound with the origin of replication. Once ORC noted the origin of replication and attached with it, this ORC along with the ORI region acts as the scaffold for the attachment of other proteins like CDC, CDT and MCM. Okay. So, that is detected first. Now, all these proteins like CDC, CTD, CDT and MCM, these proteins will join. Okay. CDC first comes in there. Let me draw. CDC6 comes in there. Then they will bring CDT and MCM. CDT and MCM, they bring twice, I mean, two CDT and two MCM, let us say, because the this DNA will melt and they need to produce two different forks. So, they require two sets of each of this CDT and MCM. So, brings CDT and MCM to the place. So, let us say the MCM, let, let me draw the MCM. This is the NCM, sorry, this is the NCM and let us say the CDT, let's draw CDT, CDT 1, CDT 1 and these are the NCMs. MCM. Okay. So, this is called the pre-initiation complex pre-initiation complex of DNA replication or pre-replication complex. Okay. This pre-replication complex usually is in inactive form. This is the inactive form. That is why you call it a pre-replication complex. Because we have all the proteins in there, but it is still not able to melt the DNA and start the process. Now, remember I have told you the process here for separation of the DNA strands and melting in case of prokaryotes is made with DNA helicase, but in this case is made by MCM and another protein called CDC25 that is also important, we will be seeing that. So, this assembly occurs at the late at the late G1 phase, right. The detection of ORI by ORC is done during the early G1 phase and the process of formation of the pre-replication complex is done in the G late G1 phase. Okay. But now they are in the borderline for G1S transition and for this process of this transition, they require CDK and cyclines which are controlling the G1S transition. Okay. So, once this pre-replication complex is made, then it should be activated, right. And in this pre-replication complex, remember, it is made with MCM, CDT and CDC6 by attaching with the scaffolding ORC. Now, here MCM, there are multiple subunits of MCM are required, like 2 to 7 MCMs are required and we have CTD for two different separate CTD for uh, two different replication forks that we will build. Now, once this thing is made at the late G1 phase, in the S phase, what will happen is that activation of this complex and activation of this pre-replication complex occur by the effect of cycling dependent kinase and DBF4 dependent kinase. DBF4 is another kind of protein factor in cell which controls this G1S uh, movement of the cell or G1S migration of the cell. So, let us see here. So, after that, while they are at the door at the G1S phase condition, there are CDK, cyclin dependent kinase and there are BDK. BDK means BDF4 dependent kinase and this is cyclin dependent kinase. Both of them act, right? And both of these kinase, they are kinase protein, right? So, they can phosphorylate other proteins to make them activated or, or to make some proteins inactivated. 
So this CDK and BDK, they phosphorylates MCM, they phosphorylates CTD, they phosphorylates CDC, they phosphorylate all the proteins out there, right? all the subunits, all proteins. So upon phosphorylation of CDC6 and CDT1, these two proteins leave this complex. Okay. On the other hand, and also ORC will also removed. ORC is also phosphorylated and removed. On the other hand, this MCM is phosphorylated. Once phosphorylated, MCM gets active, right, and remain firmly attached to the DNA. On the other hand, it releases, remember, CDT, it releases CDC6, and it also releases the ORC. It releases all these components out from the scenario. So now, we have the DNA, we have the ORIC there, ORI, I mean origin of replication. We have the MCM phosphorylated and firmly attached and then it, it will bring some other activator complex which will start unwinding the DNA and melting the DNA to this origin site. And some of those factors are, remember those factors GIN and CDC. 45, GIN and CDC 45. These two proteins now come together and once they join with this MCM, MCM remember MCM mini chromosome maintenance factor as well as CDC and gene these are all complexes. Now these three protein complex MCM, gene and CDC 45 they start to melt the DNA. So now what we will see here the DNA is melted and replication bubble is formed. I am not sure whether you can see this, this bottom part, probably not. So I will try to draw it slowly, a little bit up. So the scenario here is that we have the MCM, remember MCM is in place. MCM is in place as well as what we have we have this gene and CDC, gene, these are gene and we have CDC is attached, this is CDC 45, okay. So this is called the active, the active replication complex, the matured replication complex and this complex formed at the S phase. This complex forms at the S phase, okay. This is the ultimate end of the replication initiation in eukaryotes. It starts with detecting the ORI by the ORC, origin recognition complex, then brings upon CDT, MCM, 2 or 2 to 7 units of MCM and the CDT and CD6. Then after all, it is activated and phosphorylated by CDK and BDK and then it removes this ORC, CDT and CDC and now they will bring GIN and CDC45. So ultimately GIN, CDC45 and MCM together start to initiate this process. So if I zoom out a little bit, you will be able to see this process now. See, this is the complex that is formed. This is the active complex. This is the mature initiation complex of eukaryotic DNA replication, okay. So that is it. Once that thing is achieved, we are at the S phase, beginning of the S phase. Now the DNA replication will begin because DNA is unwind, it is open now. Now what will happen? The nucleotide sequence will come and it will be joined one after another by the DNA polymerase enzyme and the polymerase enzyme will work in both the strands, leading strand as well as lagging strands right the polymerase work at the leading strand is the polymerase epsilon and the polymerase works and the lagging strand is the polymerase delta right and they will work separately in both of this polymerase because after this the actual elongation will begin okay so that's it guys for the initiation in the next video we'll be talking about the elongation so stay tuned and keep watching